Welcome to Just Like Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. This is the daily fellowship and prayer. This is the channel where we encourage you to establish a personal relationship with the Lord. Do not allow, allow anyone to condemn you. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Establish your own personal relationship with our Almighty God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. As a Christian, you should be able to hear from the Holy Spirit daily. And only by Christ, who is our role model, do we set our standards. May the Lord bless you as you listen and share this prayer, hymn, fellowship with fellow human beings. Share it to all your platforms. Look after your heart, your soul. Make sure they are purified. Make sure you communicate with the Almighty God and the Spirit being in you. The Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son who died for you. May the Lord grow your faith daily. Amen. Prayer. Father, we thank you for today and for all those who are seeking your kingdom and his righteousness. Father, may they find it. May you speak to them. May you meet them at their point of need. Father, every day, may we grow in faith. You said if our faith is as little as a mustard seed, we will ask the mountain to move. Father, Jesus said to Martha, stop worrying about what doesn't matter. Mary has found the right path, and no one will take it from her. Father, we pray that no one will take this right path, this holy way, your way, from us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your guidance. Our going out and our coming in is guided and ordained by you. Continue to help us in all that we do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The loss a shepherd will not want. He makes us down to lie in pastures green. He leads all the quiet waters by. He leads us. He leads. That all the quiet waters by. We take our reading from John chapter 2. On the third day, a wedding took place in Cana of Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus said, and Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding as well. When the wine ran out, Jesus Jesus' mother told him, they don't have any wine. What has this consign of yours to do with me, woman? Jesus asked. My hour has not come yet. Do whatever he tells you, his mother told his servants. Now six st stone water jars had been set for, has been set there for Jew Jewish purification. Each contained 20 or 30 gallons. Fill the jars with water, Jesus told them. So they filled them to the brim. Then he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief servant. And they did. When the chief servant tasted the water after it had become wine, he did not know where it came from. Though the servant who had drawn the water knew, he called the groom and told him, Everybody sets out the fine, the, the fine wine first. Then, after people have drunk freely, the inferior. But you have kept the fine wine until now. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For those who still argue that this wine is um, uh, alcoholic wine, this wine was, this water was turned into wine immediately. There was no time for it to ferment. So let us stop all these arguments. Things that are not in the Bible, stop interpreting the Bible. This water was turned into wine immediately. It didn't have time to ferment. So it, it wasn't an alcoholic wine. But that doesn't matter. What matters here is the power of Jesus. Is the good he does everywhere he goes. 
So stop worrying about what does not matter, unnecessary argument, and start worrying about what matters, the purification of our hearts. Only those with pure heart will see God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I so see the tree store again, and us to walk that make within the paths of righteousness and for his own name sake. Within the path of righteousness and for his own.